Okay. For this one, I made a few assumptions. Uh, first off, that these are supposed to be plus, and finally, that this is is equal to. I felt that that was pretty self-explanatory, or th that is pretty fair. Um, and you can picture this as a two-dimensional array, where you have four options, right? Where you have one axis i and the second axis is j. This is essentially how uh, double four loops work, uh, where i or uh, i j k loops. And I guess technically this should be j, and this should be k, right? Where this is one two three four, one two three four, one two three four. One, two, three, four. And when running this loop, you'll have a, um, a section for each of these. You'll run with, with some value for each of these. When j is 1 and k is, for example, 4. Or j is 1, k is 4. Okay. Something like that. Uh, when j is equal to k, there's only four operations because that's when they're exactly the same at the same time. And therefore, the answer is four. Or in other words, b. Next, we have um, 37. Um, for this one, it's asking when you would have a divide by zero based off of these two code segments, the difference between a do while loop and a while loop. Uh, we know that if, for example, uh, the only time you would have a divide by zero is when x is zero in this in this position. The only way for x to be zero in this position if is if x is exactly one, because you, before you do, you do division, you subtract one from uh, from x, right? And so we, we can use as as our as our base, right? Um, what happens if x is one? In this one, we, you have a divide by zero because you just go through, but in this one, you don't run because one is not uh, greater than one. One is equal to one. Therefore, the answer for 37 is going to be C. The code 1 will sometimes generate divide by 0, uh, while uh, um, code 2 will always run with that error because you check the condition before you, you do your division.